doing guys? This is my uh, 34 pickup and it's a beautiful pickup truck. I love driving this car. Okay, so anyway, we're going to make a video today and uh, this video is dedicated to all you hot rod guys all around the United States. Really, all around the world. So, uh, let's go in my house. i got a few things to show you. Yeah, I collect these die-cast cards. I have a total of probably over 1,800 of them, and some are very, very rare. And uh, unfortunately, they stopped making these uh, die-cast cards around uh, 1998. I don't know why, but uh, that makes them even more valuable. Okay, here's the uh, Batmobile made by uh, George Barris. See that? He also made the, uh, the coffin car and the monster's coach. Okay, over here, this is another uh, very rare uh, die-cast car. Uh, this is a Packet 1953. See that? I think the Packet Company, uh, automotive company, went out of business around uh, 1957. See, it's got a straight eight uh, engine in it. We got all kinds of die-cast cars over here. And uh, let's see, over here, Okay, we got the good old GTO, 389 motor in it with three deuces, 389 cubic inch, GTO. This is probably like a 1965 maybe, 66. Yeah, these die cast cars are really uh, detailed. Yeah, look at this, got a Hemi motor in it. See, high rise manifold. It's got roll bars in there. You turn the, uh, the wheels, the steering wheel turns. Uh, it's got traction bars, a header system, slicks. Uh, a lot of these die cast cars, they're really, really detailed out. Uh, here's a Nova. See that? And that's got a uh, 396 motor in it. See? Muscle cars. That's what they call them. And uh, here's a uh, 40 or a 41 Willys, which uh, I'm looking to buy next if I could find one for sale. I always wanted a Willys. Maybe Rich in New York or Long Island will sell me his orange one. Maybe. <laughs> right, Rich? Okay, so anyway, hey, you come around here. Okay, the 1961 Biscayne Chevy. When the 348 the engine came out. A year later, the 409, right from the factory. 409 cubic inch with 350 horsepower. Okay, over here we have a, a, a model of one of Don Gollett's uh, dragsters from the 60s. See, with the uh, blown uh, nitro burning uh, Hemi motor in it. See that? Very, very collectible. And Tommy Ivo. TV Tommy. Look at that. A lot of engineering went into this dragster. Four nail head Buick motors. Four wheel drive. Unbelievable that somebody could really get something like this going. But they did it. Tommy Ivo. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. Okay, come around here. Elvis Presley's 1955 Cadillac. Look at that. The pink Cadillac, 1955. The Cadillac company really liked Elvis because he, uh, he used to buy Cadillacs for all his friends. Here's Elvis's 1959 Cadillac. See that? You know, all around my house I have restored gas pumps, we have uh, jukeboxes, we have cigarette machines, we have charm machines. Uh, these are all my uh, 20s and 30s hot rods over here. Uh, we got the tea buckets, we got uh, three windows, five windows, 
Uh, these are the real hot rods, the 20s and 30s. Yeah, check them out while I uh, put some music on. Okay, this is one of my bathrooms, and uh, yeah, check this one out. This is a 1958 Chevy. In 1958, uh, that was the uh, first year all the uh, car manufacturers came out with double headlights in the front of the vehicles. Also, the whole suspension was different. It was coil overs on the rear end and the front end. Uh, no more leaf springs in the back. Uh, 1958 was a big, big change for the automotive uh, industry. Okay guys, I want to show you a little more. There's a lot I could tell you about all this, but uh, you know, I got to get to work soon. These are all my muscle cars, see in this closet over here. And unfortunately, uh, about uh, 15, 18 years ago, these uh, companies stopped making these uh, these little muscle car models. I don't know why, but uh, now they're uh, very, very collectible. When a company stops making something and you can't get any more, it makes it very valuable. Okay, come around a turn here. Uh, these are my dragsters here. I think I have every one they made. All kinds of uh, dragsters uh, from uh, Fram Company, the filter company, uh, Valvoline Oil Company, Pennzoil, uh, Snap-on. Uh, they all uh, they all had dragsters back then, and they still do. Okay, this is one of my uh, other bedrooms. I call it the Coca-Cola room. Okay, yeah, this is a uh, Nomad. This is a '57 Nomad, Chevy Nomad, right? And uh, they only made these nomads for like three years, 1955, 56, and 57. After that, they discontinued the nomad series. Yeah, this is what I do at night. I play with my guns and I play with my little die-cast cars. Brings back a lot of memories. Okay, guys, well, follow me. We're going to go into my other bedroom. Okay, this is a very, very rare 32 Ford three window. Now they made thousands and thousands of 32 Ford three windows, but what makes this one very rare is, uh, check it out, it's got a Buick nail head motor in it. Only 3,500 of these had uh, Buick nail head motors in it, see that? And these are very collectible. I know you can't see it, but underneath here there's serial numbers. And it, uh, the serial number on here is 2600. And uh, this is probably one of the rarest cars I have. Okay guys, so anyway I want to show you the, uh, the best 
machine guns in the United States made, the FN series. We got the FN uh, 249, see that? This is the uh, SCAR, see, uh, 17, 223. Okay, here's the short barrel, SCAR, FN, and a 308, SCAR 16. See that? And uh, uh, I don't really have time to demonstrate these today, but uh, during the week uh, I like to uh, demonstrate a few of these. This is the P90, see, FN series. I call it a Star Wars gun. And uh, this is really, really designed. This is really cool. You pull the trigger back halfway, and, you know, it's semi-automatic. You pull the trigger back all the way, it turns into fully automatic. See that? And uh, it shoots a, a 5.7 bullet. There you go. This is what the shell looks like. See that? And a magazine. Wait till you see the magazine. Okay. Mag this is the magazine. Looks like no other magazine ever made. See, we take the dust cover off and uh, the bullets uh, push right in here. And then they turn sideways and go right up the list, up to 50 bullets. See that? So uh, my daughter and I probably uh, during the week will uh, demonstrate some of these machine guns for you. These are really neat. Okay guys, so anyway, I got a big surprise to show you. Do, 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 you know me. I come up with all kinds of surprises. Wait till Joe Risen sees this. That's my friend in New York, Elmont, New York. I worked with him for 10 years in the county garage as a mechanic. After the county job, back then in the 70s, I had my uh, motorcycle shop going. My brothers, Michael and Jay, would run the uh, motorcycle shop for me. And uh, after I get off the county garage at 4 o'clock, I'd work in the motorcycle shop till 10 o'clock and fix everything they took in during the day. Always working. You gotta work. You wanna get ahead, you gotta work. You snooze, you lose. Okay, well follow me. Let me show you what I got. Another beautiful day. Yeah, look at Pike's Peak over there. We got all snow on it. Okay, guys, come on in. Here it is. I bought another hot rod. Number 35. I now have 35 hot rods. This is really chopped, like a little too much. But uh, it's a beautiful car. In fact, uh, let me uh, start it up for you. We'll pull it outside so you can take a look at it in the sun sunlight.
you think, guys? Pretty cool, huh? 1931, chopped and channeled. It's got a 31 grill. It's got a uh, brand new 350 uh, Speedway crate motor in it. Box chassis, disc brakes. Yeah, check out the inside. Tilt steering wheel. It's got electric doors, electric trunk. See, if this thing was chopped one more inch, I wouldn't uh, be able to fit it. Look how clean this car is. The back, the trunk is uh, electrically operated. Got a Colorado title. And I bought it for, from a guy, his name was Jim. He worked on this for years in Canyon City. And uh, I've been trying to buy this car for years and I finally got it yesterday. How do you like it, Joe Rising? When you come out to visit me this summer, you can take it for a spin. Okay, guys, well, I gotta open up. It's almost 9.30. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, my daughter and I, we're gonna uh, test out all the FN fully automatic machine guns for you. You guys have a great day. Thank you.